So you remember when we talked about heat stress on your body and then the resulting heat strain as your body attempts to deal with that heat load? Well, you know, your body is really good at regulating core temperature, but you know, it has its limits. So like we explored earlier, work that involves high air temperatures, humid conditions, exposure to radiation, involve proximity or contact with heated materials, or tasks that are particularly strenuous, all are going to increase an employee's risk of heat strain. Heat stroke's the most dangerous heat-related illness. A person experiencing heat stroke is going to exhibit signs of confusion or disorientation. Like a typical stroke, slurred speech and seizures are common symptoms. Since the body's reached a point where it can't self-regulate anymore, body temperature rises dramatically now. The skin often is going to become hot and dry, and you know what, the victim might even lose consciousness. So a little bit less dangerous, but you know, still very serious and with the potential to become heat stroke, is heat exhaustion. Here the body's lost a great deal of water and saw. The victim sweats profusely, they urinate in smaller volumes, and you know, they might become irritable. Generally, they're going to experience strong thirst, headaches, nausea, dizziness, and weakness. Other possible illnesses from heat stress include rhabdomyolysis, where your muscles actually break down due to excessive physical activity, which, I don't know, that's pretty freaky. Heat syncope, which is fainting or dizziness from prolonged standing or suddenly standing up after sitting or lying down. A lot of times you might mistake that for vertigo. Heat cramps, which are, I mean, literally painful cramps due to heavy sweating or heat exhaustion and also heat rash, ouch, and heat fatigue. Now don't forget the materials act differently in higher temperatures too, especially when, you know, burning's involved. Chemicals react, substances and containers expand, vaporization and flashpoint temperatures are reached. And you know, to complicate things, your own risk level for these effects also is gonna depend on your physical or your medical condition. These factors are a whole lot more difficult or even impossible to address, like body weight and physical fitness, heart disease, age, prescribed medications, and even prior history of heat injury. Other factors are going to be more easily controlled, like eliminating alcohol or drug use, right? You can stop that. Getting proper hydration, whether workers have acclimated to the hot or humid conditions, the type of PPE being used, and even, you know, just the choice of clothing. All right, well, you know what? I have a feeling we need to dive a little bit deeper into that. So you stick around, and we're going to talk tips for staying safe under heat stress in Hazwopper situations.